Honey, with capacity issues for warehouse space across the globe, freight is being stored outside in the yard or even in unsecured parking lots and container yards. What should logistics companies and shippers be doing to help minimize the exposure of the cargo being stolen in these circumstances? This is one of the most serious consequences of the supply chain issues that we've seen over the past couple of years. Obviously, you can't build warehouse space as fast as you can increase supply through supply chains. Um, so what we're seeing is a fair amount of that, where warehouses are stuffed to the gills or completely full. There's things that are being stored outside or in temporary situations, maybe in temporary storage areas, either outside of the warehouse or in nearby buildings that aren't necessarily purpose built for those purposes. That does increase the risk of theft. Now, there's a few things the company can do in order to reduce that risk or work with their logistics partners to ensure that that risk is decreased. One thing is that if there are trailers or containers sitting in the yard, making sure that there are seals on those containers, that the company is keeping track of the numbers on those seals and checking them periodically. We would recommend checking them essentially on a daily basis if that's possible, having someone do a yard check, uh, walking those, you know, walking the yard and checking those seals, check for other signs of tampering, as well as make sure that the fence line or any other perimeter for the facility is intact uh, and make sure that that's being checked as well. Also, if possible, if it's trailers or containers, park them as close to the building as possible where they can be under lighting and CCTV. Uh, all of that will help to reduce the risk of theft. Just making sure that from an efficiency standpoint, if there's any efficiency gains that can be made inside the warehouse to process that freight faster, that will help as well because it means that less freight will be stored outside or in temporary accommodations uh, until they can be brought you know, into the warehouse and, and fully processed. So is there anything that shippers or logistics companies can do that, to make the actual warehouse operators and put the burden on them or make sure they can comply with those suggestions that you, that you just made? Making sure that seals are constantly looked at such as that. Obviously, logistics companies and shippers are not the ones on site all the time, so it makes it a little challenging. Yeah, I think that's more a case of, of better management uh, on the part of the warehouse or distribution center themselves. Uh, making sure that you're including security as part of your business reviews with them, um, if it's part of the contractual agreement as well, you know that they need to meet specific minimum security standards. Uh, also, too, if you're trying to arrange with them for live loads and live unloads, making sure that you can do that wherever possible. Um, that will help, you know, even if you have less control or less visibility uh, into the warehouse operations.